Hello everyone, welcome back to Sharp Star Optics. Today I'm going to introduce a filter drawer from ASCA. The ASCA filter drawer is a multifunctional filter installation device. It's taken into consideration different camera and the telescope adapter threads, as well as various filter sizes, enabling users to install their filters in a quick and easy way. The ASCA filter drawer contains many useful components. This is the main body of the filter drawer. It has two pieces of magnets at the sides. These three with five countersink holes are the adapters to the camera sides. These holes are used for connecting the main body and the adapter. There are three thread sides, M42, M48 and M54. And these three are the adapters to the telescope side. You should be quite familiar with them if you bought an ASCA OAG. And these threads are M42, M48 and M54. These three are the filter sliders. It's designed with knurling to better increase the grip. It's used to accommodate a filter. There are also two pieces of magnet. The strong absorption can make the attachment faster and easier. You can clearly see the thread and the circular groove. The thread is for the mounted filters and the groove is for the unmounted filters. This one has the smallest opening, used to attach 1.25 inch mounted filters and 31 mm unmounted filters. This one has the middle opening, which is used to attach 36 mm unmounted filters. And the biggest opening slider is used to attach 2 inch mounted filters and 50 mm unmounted filters. These three with three holes are plastic filter holding rings. When you intend to install an unmounted filter, this holding ring can tightly hold in your filter onto the filter slider. A big task is to correctly assemble the filter drawer and put it into your entire optical system. Generally speaking, you have to follow the right steps to assemble the filter drawer. First, pick the proper camera adapter according to your camera thread, and then pick the proper telescope adapter according to your telescope thread. The last step is to install your filter on the slider and slide it into the filter drawer. The astronomy camera we use here has M42 thread. So we choose the proper camera adapter with M42 thread. Put the adapter and the main body together. Five countersink holes to five holes on the main body. With the mail thread facing outward, fasten the adapter with M3 times 8 countersink screws and M2 wrench. Next, we move on to assemble the telescope adapter. We plan to add an OSCAR OAG behind the telescope, but it won't change our assembling process. As we can see, the back thread of OSCAR OAG is M54. So we pick out the M54 telescope adapter. Put it together with the main body. Once you finish the above steps, we need to put the filter drawer to the optical system. The correct order should be telescope and M54 adapter and OAG. A filter drawer and astronomy camera. Double check if the connection is secure and tight. If everything is fine, we move to the final step, install the filter. In this video, we'll show you how to install both mounted and unmounted filters. Suppose we need to use a 2-inch ASCA red filter. So we must pick a proper filter slider. As we mentioned, we need the largest opening to fit a 2-inch filter. We just simply thread on the 2-inch filter.
and suppose now we are using a 36 mm Asuka H alpha filter. So we need this middle opening slider. Gently put the filter into the circular groove and use this middle size plastic holding ring. Three holes to three holes. Attach the holding ring to the slider with M2 times 4 countersink screws and M1.27 wrench. Tightly secure the filter. Now we insert the slider into the filter drawer. The whole system is now perfect for astrophotography. If your telescope requires a rigid back focus distance, in this connection, an Nazca OAG, an Nazca filter drawer, and a 70.5 mm back focus camera, the overall back focus is 55 mm. This field drawer is solid and endurable. Besides, it's a one for all device, basically suitable for most common filters, telescope and astronomy camera adapters. It helps users to get rid of the trouble of gauging and matching different threads and filters. Rather economical and time-saving.